Hello, hello, it's Jane Della Cruz, Be Fit for Christ, Tummy Testimony, 500 crunches for six months. We are on day 46. Woohoo, way to go. We're learning 25 scriptures and we're going to do Psalm 91, so get your Bibles ready. I hope you had a fantastic Valentine's Day and night. I was up really late with my Valentine, but it was good. Real quick, I just want to talk with you about loving Him. You know, over the past few days, we talked about accepting God's love. However, why should we love Him in return? Well, in Matthew 22, 37, it says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. So, we know it's a command, right? But He's God, right? He doesn't really need anything we have to offer. I mean, that's what I used to think. Um, but why is it important that we express love to Him? The reason isn't so much for God's good as it is for ours. As we adore Him, we understand how deeply loved we really are and discover who He is making us into. We find that because He created us, He knows our limitations, our drives, our weaknesses, and not only cares for us, but actively invites us to join Him, giving us meaning, satisfaction and purpose and hope we also come to realize that everything he does is for our good and that's one of our scriptures right uh romans 8 28 <laughs> anyways finally as we express affectionate towards him he teaches us how to love as he does how to give and receive love in the most fulfilling divine way possible so yes love god even if you're not sure how open your hearts to him and simply express how wonderful he is and how grateful you are for him. Okay, let's pray real quick. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. Uh, you are the one that we adore. That is a song. <laughs> you are so worthy of our adoration. Teach us to love you each and every day. And Father God, show us how to love one another. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's get going. All right. I am ready. I did do my class yesterday, Fenton's Dance Factory. And I lasted about 45 minutes, which is probably <laughs> not very much of it. But uh, anyways, it was really good. I'm on track. I'm going to start running again uh, starting this evening. I'm going to do my three miles. I'll be adding that as well since my ankle. And I believe it's 100% healed. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's get going. First of all, in Psalm 118, 24, this is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Aren't you glad you wake up? I'm so glad to be awake. Life is good when you deal with God. It's great. I can't, you know, I don't understand how people can do it without the Lord, really. But I did it for so many years, so I get it. If you don't know what you don't know, <laughs> that's why I'm here. I want to expose God's love for you, and I want you to be victorious with God. Hold, two, three. Four, five. Good job. And then we have Proverbs 24, 16. We're going to do prayer. Crunch. So we did 25 regular. And there we go. Ooh. Good job. And then we'll hold up in that prayer position for 30 seconds. Keep going. And I'm going to start my week one. Well, done one. Um, let's see, we have Proverbs 3, 5 through 8, and it's trust in the Lord with all your heart. Be not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. Keep going. Come on, a few more. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil, for this will be health to the flesh. And straight to your bones. Now hold. Two, three, four. Keep going. We're going to hold for 30. All right, in Proverbs 24 16, for the righteous fall seven times and rise again. 
In Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. In Philippians 4 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You don't have to do it alone. So many people are trying to do life alone. It's so much better. God can direct you and help you and boy. He can give you wisdom where you don't make mistake after mistake. Mm, he has the best plan for your life and the, and the best future. Keep going. All right, good job. Okay, let's keep going with the rest of our scriptures. And we're going we're gonna to do crunches for 25, crunches for 25, and then we're going to go ahead and do our out and ins and our little uh, sweet feet ballet twitches, I don't know what they're called, but it is. All right, here we go, 25 crunches with their knees up. And I'm going to keep going with all our scriptures. So we have Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. What a beautiful scripture. <sighs> Matthew 7, 7, ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door will be answered. Mm. Yes, that's a powerful one. And in Jeremiah 29, no, we already did that. In <clears throat> Isaiah 40, 31, it's <clears throat> for those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall not up with wings of eagles. They shall walk and not be weary. They shall, no, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Mm, that can mean so many things. But I always think like waiting on the Lord is like wait for the answer. Don't rush it. Don't go in front of him. Don't do things your own way because it's usually a disaster. <laughs> so wait on the Lord and he renews your strength. And he does it perfectly in his time. <laughs> He's, you know, takes his time. He wants it to be right. Whatever it is that you're waiting for, keep waiting with anticipation that he's doing it behind the scenes. And he is. He always is. Whew. All right. That is our first week of scriptures. Our second week is, um, hold, two, three, four, five. I think we did more than 25. That's okay. A couple bonus crunches won't hurt you. All right, keep going on. All right, so we have um, Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And then we have Hebrews 11, 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Good job. And we have Matthew 19, 26. And that one is, with man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Hold, two, three, four, five. And then we have, out and in. Do it in three increments and then squeeze it up and in. One, two, three. Pull back up. One, two, three. Pull back up. We're going to do 25 of these. And then we have uh, 2 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Oh, that's a beautiful one. And 1 John 4, 4 is greater is he that is in me and us than he that is in the world. Ooh, that's nice. And in Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28. <coughs> excuse me. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lonely of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay, we're going to be at 125. Once these are done, I'm going to do <clears throat> little ballet twitches for your ankles. We're just going to scissor our, our feet. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, James 4, 7. That's a good one. Submit to God. 
Resist the devil and he will flee. Let's see, I think we did everything in week two. Now we're going to go to week three. And go ahead and do your little ballet with the scissors. I think of when they jump in the air and they do this. How amazing is that, right? Ballerinas are so disciplined. Oh my gosh. Crazy. I have such respect for them. I mean, I did a lot of ballet, but <laughs> nothing like what they do. Keep going. All right, John 316. For God so emphasize so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes shall not perish but have everlasting life with him. I love that one. Makes me feel good when I say it. Makes me realize how much he loves me. And, wants me. and I want to love him back. Whenever somebody loves you, you just want to love them back. And that is God. God is love. I hope you're feeling it. I hope you're accepting his love into your life. So amazing once you do. He will turn your life upside down for the better. Yeah. I think we limit ourselves when we just live for ourselves and in our own mind. Okay. John 14, 6. It's I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Good job. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought it's time my shoe. And Romans 3.23. <clears throat> We're just going to reach out and touch the outside of our hands. It's all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And Romans 8.28. Know this one. And we know that all things work together for good. To those who love him, to those who are called according to his, his purpose. All right, after these, we're going to flip over, get ready to do our long Psalm 91. <laughs> Keep going. Ooh. We're going to hold that plank as long as you can. Feels like it's about a minute and a half, maybe even two minutes by the time we say the whole thing. Okay, in Philippians 4, 6. It's be anxious for what? For nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds to Christ Jesus. And then in Genesis 1 1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Hold on one side for five, hold the other side. And we have Romans 2, 20, or 12, 2. And it's do not be conformed to this world. Go ahead and give yourself a big hug. Tell yourself how much you love yourself. Oh, it's important to love yourself. Just the way you are. You don't have to change a thing. <laughs> hmm, I think you learn that when you get older. You don't have to always prove yourself. Ah, oh, I think because he just... Once you know God's love, like he just loves you just the way you are, you start accepting yourself and love yourself more and more and more. It's a beautiful thing. Oh. All right, so it says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's what we're doing daily. We're renewing our mind with the word of God. We're thinking like God thinks and not our own thoughts. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His ways are much better than our ways. Hmm. So it says that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's go. You ready? Uh, Psalm 91. It's our 911, our 911 emergency song. Everybody needs this protection. God's secret place of safety is under his wings. So. Let's see. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, You are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Surely you shall deliver me 
From the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence, you shall cover us under your feathers and under your oh, you shall cover us with your feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth is a shield and buckler. Um, you shall not be afraid of terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies that day, nor of the destruction, no, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lies waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand may fall to your right hand, but it shall not come near you. With your eyes, only, only with your eyes shall you look and see the rewards of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your habitation, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, I love that one, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. I don't know. I feel more emotional today. Oof. I just, um, sometimes things just hit you. You'll read the word and it'll just, just hit you in the face. Just what he wants. He wants everything that you want and more in life and the afterlife. Mmm. And he's already done it. That's the beauty of it. He's already done everything. All he says is, rest in me. <sighs> okay. I'm just so in awe of him. I love him so much. And I hope you are, <clears throat> you don't have a relationship with him, that you're forming your own new relationship. It's never too late. He like says every day is new with him. Doesn't matter how much you messed up or what you're doing. He just says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Ah, oh, I said that again. I don't know why that just came into my spirit. Such a beautiful one. All right, we have four more scriptures left. These are the ones that I always forget. So it's Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live in faith. In the faith, in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Uh, it's by his faith, I'm sorry, I think it's by his faith we live. Mm, I have to look that up. I think I have that word wrong. Um, but in John 10, 10, it's the thief does not come except for to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's his job. He wants you, he wants to win your soul. He doesn't want you to live for God. He does not want you to, when you die, go and be with him. <laughs> He'd rather have your soul to himself. Yeah, but we know we have already have the victory in Christ. We won. <laughs> Amen. Hold, two, three, four, five. Let's switch sides. Okay, we're at 350. 50 more of these. And then I think we're going to do bridges for the last 100. <clears throat> so hold the side bridge for 50 and 50, okay? So 
So get ready for that. All right, 54, 13, Isaiah, I believe. I was, I don't know why I forget. Yes. All right, Isaiah 54, 13. It's all your children shall be taught of the Lord. And great will be the peace of your children. That means if you teach your children the word of God and his love, that they will have peace. Mm. Keep going. Ooh. In Luke 6, 38, it says, Give, and it shall be given. Good measure. Uh, pressed down and shaken together will be running over in, into your bosom. For with the measure, with the same measure that you give, shall be measured back to you. All right, we're getting there. We're at the end of our race today. <laughs> Keep going. Have a few more. And then get ready for that side bridge. And turn, hold it. Do 50. All right. Hold. Two, three, four, five. And come on up. Oh, this is on my. Hold it. We did all of our scriptures. Good job, you guys. I hope you're really learning these. <laughs> I think I am ready to almost add maybe a couple more. Pray on that. <laughs> I think when I can recite them a little bit faster, then they'll know for sure to go ahead and add them. Keep going. We're halfway there. You can do it. Keep going. Okay, switch sides. Oh, that is hard. But, so good. I don't know if I'm too close. I guess I need to watch some of these videos. <laughs> I don't critique these or watch them, so they are what they are. I do them and I post them right away. So I apologize if any of them are really bad. Or you can't see me. <laughs> I might be way too close. I think some of them, I saw my armpit. <laughs> this is the main focus, so I apologize for that. Whew. Hold. Come on, you can do it. If you need to take a break, go down and then come back up. Got 20 more seconds. You can do it. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Oh, we did it. Day 46. That was a tough one for me, but we did it. Just keep going. Show up with me tomorrow. I hope you do. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace. Okay, go in peace. Love you guys. Have a great day.